hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week in my life vlog i'm gonna be sharing with you everything or pretty much everything i got up to this week we start on sunday and we're gonna talk about work food running literally everything so i hope you guys enjoy it as usual definitely like it if you do and we'll dive straight into the video Okay, so we're starting on Sunday, which is kind of rogue for me because I personally see Monday as like the first day of my week. But we're starting on Sunday just because I wanted to share with you guys some of the camping prep Angelo and I have been up to. We're going to the vegan camp out very soon, so I thought I would share with you guys the tent we're planning on bringing. And yeah, we were just sort of like practicing setting up in the garden basically. We're currently testing the tent for the vegan camp out. This is the tent that we thought was going to be mouldy. Um, basically, like, three years ago now? You took it to Cumbria, um, did a big hike and stuff. Yeah, as I said, like, three years ago. And he packed it away when it was, like, wet after it had been raining. So we thought it was going to have mould in it. But it's actually not that bad. I'm so happy. Are you happy? Yeah, because I spent about 100 quid on it. Yeah, I know. I don't know. That's expensive for a 2010. So inside, all you can see is, you know, surprise, surprise, we just have this one room and it's decent. Okay, I'm going inside. <laughs> I'll let her go inside first. I ain't going. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it feels, it does feel a little damp inside. Does it? Yeah. So like if I was sleeping, say, say here. Yeah. And you'd sleep there. And I get it all. This yeah. is me going in. <laughs> I got you coming in. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit hot. It is a bit hot. I feel like it would get really humid. Uh, so there are vents here that we can open. You can open them on both sides and it brings in air. Mm. On the whole, I think it's all right. I mean, you're basically the length of the tent. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make sure it was as long as I was. If you laid here alone, let me know how, how it felt, feels after. Okay. Lie down. Yeah, just lie, lie down in the middle. Okay. Lie down in the middle. Like, like just in the middle. Just lie down. Just be like. Yeah, was it hot when you were in Cumbria? No, it was cold. Oh. Uh, it was freezing. It's still just as hot. We <laughs> <laughs> just roll in. <laughs> There's like no airflow. Yeah, because imagine if then the doors actually closed as well. Yeah, shut close the door on you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> How we the Zane? Um, okay, how'd you feel? Hello? Yeah, it's quite hot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to think about that one. Any advice regarding tents, please let us know. Can you like, tell us how we can make it cold inside? We're officially in summer. I look like a tomato right now because I just got back from a 10k run. It's currently like 25 degrees. Yeah, it's 25 degrees today. Literally, it was nothing but heat and sun. Yeah, I currently have my electrolyte tablet. This is the black current one, but I think I'm gonna order some more because I'm almost out. Um, I also have a naked bar, which I actually bought on my run because I passed like Holland and Barrett and my Holland and Barrett is so good, it always has reduced stuff. So I got a bar to have like now and yeah, I'll have lunch a bit later. So just as a snack. But anyway, it is Monday. So so start off, one sec, a new week. We are working on a new video today. Um, last week I scripted two videos. So yeah, I am gonna be researching stuff now in this current work block. It's 2 p.m. Um, I was supposed to go on my run earlier. Like I didn't wanna go in the heat, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna work now until about five. I have tutoring later at eight. And yeah, this morning I was doing some like ideation, thinking of ideas, um, organizing some things, replying to messages. I had a meeting just to catch up with Tintin about like my week and what's going on, when the filming day is this week, which is Thursday, and I am doing that. Oh, hello. My cords are also quite tight from yesterday and long run on Saturday. Um, but yeah, this naked bar, Coco Orange. It's a decent one, not my favorite one, but it's 
uh, it was 52p. I got them for 33p before in my Holland Amaro. But if you catch reduced stuff in Holland Amaro, it's really good. Um, anyway. So if you guys are new around here or if you're not and you're just curious about what I do, feel free to leave any questions about like my part-time script writing role down below in the comments. So I write for Ali Abdel. I'm a script writer and researcher basically. And yeah, I do that three days a week. So I'm part-time and basically freelance. Although it leans more so towards like the permanent side of things because I always have three days of work a week and stuff like that but as I said feel free to leave any comments and questions down below and I can do a Q&A because I haven't done that recently but yeah just let me know what you want to know and yeah I was currently working on a new video it is five well gone five now and I'm basically at the gym it's like a half an hour walk um but yeah I'm at the gym I'll be here for like an hour doing well 45 minutes I think doing upper body I was gonna do lower body today but like the thought of doing squats and sleds and step ups and stuff just didn't sound appealing because my quads are still a little bit tight um as I said before from like our runs on the weekend one of which was a very intense long run so yeah upper body it is and then I'll walk back have a bit of time to just like review some videos before meetings tomorrow because Tuesday is meetings day where like I always have meetings basically and yeah then I will have to drink as I said so I'm gonna go to the gym. I did just walk and eat my lunch, multitasking, um, because Monday's always busy, but yeah, that's just the reality of what I'm doing today. <laughs> really good today it was like so empty everyone had clearly come and taken everything but yeah workout was really good um actually really in the zone and just yeah smashed up body and apps okay i'm just about to tutor um that's so loud <laughs> for an hour <laughs> sure why i'm sat here in a jumper today because um it is gonna be really hot and yeah i've just been doing some planning organizing i've needed to put some dates in my calendars for a long time and i've done that finally lots of like dates of things coming up in july next month and then august is gonna be quite quiet but then september will be busy start of october will be busy and um yeah super exciting stuff but basically um later this year when we go away we're going to south korea um i think that's the first time i'm saying that in a video and recently i was sent this smart translator um it's by iFlyTech. i am very excited to take this with us when we go away to south korea because i do not know any korean the only languages that you guys know i have learned some of is german i haven't spoken a lot about my german recently um to be honest with you i have not made much progress because something i also haven't mentioned is that i have been trying to learn some arabic or pick up the language we could say just by like listening because i've never said this before but angelo's family um they speak arabic um so at home angelo speaks mostly arabic i honestly love hearing him speak because you know he's bilingual basically and yeah i pick up the language i pick up certain words and i really enjoy language learning as you guys know <laughs> what is the word for milk leban milk yay shweya shweya A bit. I really like to perfect like the pronunciation of things. Arabic though is so so hard because like the sounds you need to make are very they're just not English sounds and I sound very English when I'm trying to speak Arabic similar to when I'm speaking German. But yeah this is a smart translator and what this does is you can have a conversation with someone like a bilingual conversation and it does instant face-to-face -face translation. It translates in real time and the accuracy comes from like the microphone array that's built in as well as the noise cancelling algorithm. You just like hold it like this and you can talk to someone and obviously it's translating what they are saying so let's say Angelo is talking to me in Arabic. He will translate that to English and then I know what he's saying. Hello, my name is Holly. What's your name? Marhaban, 
Ana ismi Angelo. My name is Angelo. Nice to meet you, Angelo. What's your favorite color? Hmm, oh, I got to think about that one. أنا بحب اللون أصفر. I like the color yellow. أنت بتحبي يا تو حيوان. Do you love animal? Yes, I love animals. My favorite animal is a cat, but I also like dogs and elephants and penguins. No, I'm an animal. Wow, انتي بتحبي حيوانات كثيرة جدا. أنا بفتكر الحيوان اللي أنا بحبه هو الكديسة. عشان الكديسة بتحبني برضو. You can translate 18 languages offline so you don't need any internet connection. But with like online connection, so if you're connected to Wi-Fi or internet and you can activate the free global mobile data on the device, it translates 60 different languages. So that's really cool. And as I said, like super excited to take it to South Korea. Um, I can obviously use it when I'm speaking German and Angela doesn't know German. Hallo, ich heiße Holly. Ich mag Katze und Hunde. Ich habe eine Schwester, sie heißt Emily und meine Mutter, sie heißt Caroline. Hi, my name is Holly. I like cat and dogs. I have a sister, her name is Emily. And my mother, her name is Caroline. As I said, with my Arabic, I cannot say full sentences right now. Um, I just know, like, words because I've not been, like deliberately and purposely trying to learn it i just like listen to what's being said and i'm always saying the word like really in arabic so it's like sahir like really i also know laban is milk or laban laban mafi katia shweya um chocolate suka some words i know but literally that's it it's like harder than german but maybe just because I've only really started. If you guys want to check this device out, there will be a link in my description box. You can click that link, it will take you to the website and you can check it out. And yeah, again, shout out to the team at iFlyTech for sponsoring this video. And yeah, I have stuff to do, obviously. When do I not have stuff to do? I started my Tuesday basically going through this long list of notes that I'd made to like update my to-do list and just make sure I knew what I was doing that day. One meeting down, I have to record my first loom and I've never done this before, so. Yeah, kind of a little bit nervous. A loom is where you film yourself and you film your screen. I've just never done it. And I have to record a loom for um, one of the editors to, um, yeah, help them sort of like know what's going on in the script and how things were filmed on filming day, which is when I was in a couple of weeks ago. Oh my God, what? Delete. How the hell do I get it? So my... You can choose to record using your screen and camera. Uh, right. Full screen. I never started recording the loom. Delete. Oh god. I can't do this. I really can't do this. Hey Path, I have never recorded a loom before. So this is my first ever loom. I apologize if it is a bit all over the place. But Tintin told me to send you this. So you can get started editing. Yeah, recording that first loom, my very first loom, took like so many attempts because I was kind of confused as to how to set up my camera and stuff, but eventually we worked out and I sent the looms. Um, I just like occasionally go back through the back catalog of the channel and I see that our description looks like a bit of a mess. And yeah, every Tuesday I have two meetings. So this was the second one. This is where myself, Tintin and Ali, we talk through video ideas and we sort of like talk through scripts to make sure everything Thing is okay before filming and then after that I decided to go on my run. Big run today! <laughs> 26 degrees is not helping. Oh my god. So I've done a 2k warm-up. Super easy, I've done 3 by 2 k The plan was to do 4 by 2 k But... <sighs> um, I, uh, I don't know if I have it in me, I'm not gonna lie. I could do two 1Ks with the rest in between because I have two and a half minutes break between those. Oh, my arm hurts as well. But yeah, 
Oh my god, it is so hard because of the heat and my legs are also still tired, so... Okay, I tried to start off doing another one. Um, even just a 1k, I couldn't do it. We ran till failure today and you know, there's no point pushing, especially in heat like this, you know? I'm happy with what I did. I pushed as hard as I could, so yeah. I'm just gonna cool down now basically. So when I was filming this video, I was in the middle of 10K training and by the time this video comes out, I will have done the race. But just as an announcement, there will be a video coming on that very soon. I run a company and I have like 22 people working for me. It's actually really hard to, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm working on. It gives the boss a profound sense of relief and it means you can genuinely apply this first principle of slow productivity, which is to do fewer things at a time. You maintain an active project list, you maintain a backlog, and you make this visible to your entire team. After my run, I basically had some food. I watched the latest Ali video. I love seeing them come out and see everything come together. And then I was back to working on the script. You want to say something? Okay. So this is the new canopy. We're gonna get a demonstration from Java. Drop bed with sunshade. Drop your bed down. Oh. Dog bed with sunshade. Jibby. <laughs> right, Java. Remit. Place. Place. <laughs> Java, place. Good girl. There you go. Good oh, girl. good girl, Jibby. You don't understand the word, do you? Hmm? You think everything's down. Good yeah. Java place. <laughs> Java place. No Java. Java place. <laughs> she just keeps place. down. Up, Java up. Place. Place. <laughs> Java. One in place. Sit. Good yeah. Good place. just put some sun cream on my ears because I'm going out quite soon on my run it's coming up to like 10 it's 9 40 and yeah we're getting up to 27 degrees today so I'd much prefer to do my 15k when it's not as warm but yeah this morning I have done a lot of my emails so today I'm not script writing as I said because I'm filming tomorrow but yeah I did a lot of my own personal emails which I just not been getting around to doing. And yeah, I yesterday went to the gym. I don't think I, yeah, I didn't take you guys to the gym yesterday, but I did a lower body session. Um, my quads are still a bit tight, but you know, it was fine, did the squats. Quite a few different exercises actually. Um, yeah, pretty big workout, like 50 minutes. And then later that evening, I had another call at 8 p.m. I kind of like didn't ask what time zone this person was in. But yeah, for um, video research, I was actually speaking to someone. Ali put me in contact with this person to help out with the research for this video. So yeah, I spoke to them. They were in the US um, Eastern Standard Time. So I was like, can you do 3 p.m.? Um, and he was like, yeah, sure. And for him, 3 p.m. It's like 8 p.m. for me. So the call was at 8 till like 9.15. Didn't show you guys that, but essentially that is what I did. But I stripped my bed this morning because I am going into London today, um, this evening, and then I'll be there with Angelo so I can go straight into London in the morning. And I don't have to do as big of a commute um, to go to Ali's to film. <laughs>
I really feel like I'm on it today. Like I've cleaned my room, I've stripped my bed, which I will make when I get back next week. I'm currently cutting open my gels. Um, I actually don't think I have any left. Is another thing I just thought. Um, but yeah, it's to try and like, you know, not waste anything or waste as little as possible. So is there any gel even left in there? But yeah, I am now going to get on with some work again at my desk, then I will have some lunch, then I will go on a walk and finish my walk at the station. So yeah, I feel very on it today. It's nice to have a mid-week reset, to be honest with you. Like, I just felt like things were piling up, my room was getting messier, and yeah, very happy with my progress today. Run was super, super hot, and I did a very hilly loop, but it was good. So I just finished editing a vlog which I've uploaded and that's going live today which is really good. I've then imported footage for this vlog, um, so kind of vlogception. But yeah, I was editing just on this screen because um, I put that keyboard, well I'm going to put this on eBay, I just took some pictures this morning as well. And yeah, I'm still a lot faster just editing on one screen, especially because this keyboard just like doesn't stay configured to what I want and I don't have like the swipe um left and right as I do on the trackpad so if anyone knows how you can like program that into a mouse like this um please let me know um I also don't like the apple trackpads like I'm not the biggest fan because they I don't know they they seem to make my skin feel funny but anyway um, that is that. I just need to put this in my bag because I'm just gonna get changed and I've also packed my bag so I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, I think I'm just gonna do some massage gunning and rolling. I have some extra stuff here. Um, but yeah, use my gun and my roller just quickly. The yellow shorts are back out. I've literally just changed into this. So my Heiko t-shirt the white one which i've like stained it's so sad i have earrings in um a necklace on my watch is fully charged now and then my orange shorts as i said we have a very nice tan line as you can see this is from uh obviously running but uh yeah this is the outfit um obviously not wearing these socks pulled up so high but i will put my converses on and yeah my back is gonna sweat so much with this like really heavy bag um and a second bag but Oh, there's the lighting. Um, I'm hopefully gonna go to Holland tomorrow on the way to see if there's any reduced stuff. I feel very summery. Um, I haven't been in the UK in summertime in a long time, a very long time, um, like quite a few years actually. So yeah, summer in the UK, a full summer in the UK is 2024. I kind of got my timings all mixed up and I was really early arriving at the station so I got an earlier train but I did go to Holland Navarra as I said and I got some reduced stuff honestly if you guys love Holland Navarra like I do then definitely go there at like the end of the month they tend to reduce things normally although that's what I've been told by the people that work there and I got some bars that were like reduced to really good prices so I got quite a lot of those and then Angelo also bought me a bar that day but yeah when I arrived in London we went out to get food to make dinner. We just had chicken vegan chicken in a bagel the chicken was um i can't remember the brand but definitely had better vegan chicken i want to say hello to the vlog hello guys <laughs> what I'm was back. the brand of the vegan chicken by the way i think it was called the no clock chicken oh yeah no, that was it <laughs> i'm actually joking the impossible chicken was it the impeccable chicken. It's chicken. impeccable because it's vegan. The impeccable butcher. No, I'm joking. Oh. As soon as you find oh. out. Oh, the vegetarian butcher. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Impeccable chicken breast. <laughs> vegan. Yeah, it's also quite expensive. It's £3.15. Obviously, yeah. I got a, I got three for two. Hmm. So in my head, it was worth it. But actually, in hindsight, it wasn't. Yeah. It was not that great. I left it in the air fryer for 15 minutes, right? That's quite a long time, if you know air fryers, mm. to dry it out, because I like dry chicken. It was still quite soft. Yeah. The outside of it was crispy-ish. The inside was a bit stringy. That's why I thought. I think that's the point though. Um, yeah, you've been vegan how long now? Uh, <clears throat> since 2016, so eight years. Yeah, so I've only been vegan for one and a half years. 
Fish. Summer fruits. Ceylon cinnamon. Chia seeds. Uh, pea protein. Bananas. Did we say chia seeds? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, is that? I think that's everything, isn't it? Water. Water, yeah. Slacking holes. Okay, so Thursday was filming day. So this is where I go into London and I don't do this every week. I normally just step in when Tintin can't do it. But I go in and I go to Ali's house and it's a day when we just film loads of videos. Normally it's about like four or five videos, so quite a lot. But I'm just like behind the camera, um, making sure that we're on track and everything is going well. And yeah, it's a really fun thing to do. We call it the filming party and it's a great vibe. It also means I can like meet and get to know other the team members just because as a full team we are all fully remote so we don't all work on site. Currently running out just to get some lunch. Ali has these like um ready meal things but they're not vegan. He did offer me one but um you guys know I'm vegan so I'm just running out to grab my own food today. I'm probably gonna go to the waitress which is down here but yeah we are planning to film five videos today. We filmed two and we have like one sponsor or something to film so yeah we uh, went out and got like Hot drinks before the break. I got a matcha, an oat milk matcha, which was nice. Really good, actually. Very nice, vibrant green color. Um, but yeah, anyway, quite a lot of us are there today. Uh, I think the waitress is around here. Ooh, sushi shop. But that looks like a restaurant. So I'm going to the waitress because I'm bougie, apparently. There is the waitress. We are crossing. A lot of traffic. This is this. It's uh, Thursday. Keep thinking it's Friday because I normally go to Angelo's on Thursday, but you know, I came yesterday. Anyway, here we go. Waitrose. Food to go. That's what I want. A lot of the time when I'm out and about in London and I'm looking to get lunch on the go, I crave sushi, but they didn't have this like really good bento box that I normally get from Waitrose or Wasabi. There wasn't a Wasabi nearby, but the Waitrose didn't have it, so I went for this like poke bowl instead, and then after that we got back to work filming. Okay, so I wanted to take you guys into the weekend just a little bit. So I thought I would share with you what Angelo and I did after our long run on Saturday. Our long runs were actually really intense. I did a progression run. Everything in all of my training, by the way, if you wanted to see what I do is on my Strava. We did a long run. Mine was a progression run, so getting faster as I ran for longer. I did a 26k and then we went to try this Ethiopian restaurant. It's fully vegan and we always pass it. We'd been meaning to try it for a long time. So so we finally went, so myself, Angelo and his mum as well. We just went to a new vegan, well it's not new, we tried a new vegan restaurant. We did, yeah. They got like a new sign and stuff, so it looks fairly new. Yeah, it's called um <clears throat> It's called Addis. Addis. And Which it... is like um chickpea curry but Ethiopian. Right. Slash Eritrean, I think. Does Addis mean the same thing in Arabic? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay. It but does. it's it's fully vegan and we've been meaning to try it. So We tried it. We tried it! <laughs> your mum as well. We had like a platter, like yeah. a sharing platter. For four people. For four people. Mind. And he had two of each thing. Yeah. Um, and, and tons of injera. Sorry, may I just interject? <laughs> yeah, tons of injera. It was basically on a bed. All the all the little side dish things were on a bed of injera. What was your favourite thing? I liked this like thing that looked like sauerkraut. <laughs> I love how I was just saying this thing thing. <laughs> they have all the different names. Like what was the name of the one dish? Fa uh, fasolia. Fasolia. Which just means beans. Yeah, green beans. And to be fair, it was mostly beans. It was beans, lentils, potato. Yeah. But it was like curried in a way. Yeah. And essentially, you just get like wraps of injera on the side. Yeah. And then you take a wrap of injera, you break it up, and use your hands to yeah. like pick up the curried um, 
side dish thing. But you've kind of grown up doing that sometimes. I've, I've grown up eating with my hand, yeah. So yeah. we'd cut, we'd like break the bread and then, you know, like use it, use our hand to like pick stuff up, I guess, from the plate. I mean, if mum's watching this, she's probably like, what? But that's like a traditional thing. Yeah, but your, your mum will really like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got a good amount of spice to most things. I think the, there was only one that was particularly spicy. And then they give you like an extra spice sea sauce yes. on the side, which tastes really good, but it is really, really spicy. Yeah, I agree. It was very spicy and I am so sorry that was such an abrupt ending. My camera basically died and I forgot to finish the vlog apparently. But this is me finishing it for you guys right now. And as I said at the start, definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. Leave any comments and questions down below. And as always, I'll leave you with the bloopers and speak to you very soon in another video. Bye guys. No. <laughs> Drop off. Woo. Oh my god, you're so big. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I have to. I have to go here. It is officially summertime, and oh my gosh, it's only a little bit dirty. Some mud and flies from Cumbia. Cumbia. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll come over this way a little bit and I'll pull you. <laughs> Could we see with the door open or is that risky? Uh, you probably have stuff like going in. I what, guess, like, what, like animals? And bugs and. Bugs. <laughs> Otherwise, we just bring sleeping bags and sleep outside. Um, ow, my hand. Oh, it's so sunny. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's what I. <laughs> annoying yeah, <laughs>